In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an eye to eye prussic in 10 millimeter beeline rope. Okay, so the first step in doing an eye to eye prussic is to cut your cord so it's the right length for the prussic that you're going to do. In this case, I'm going to do a 28 inch eye to eye prussic, and the correct length for the cord to do that is 47 inches. So I've cut this cord 47 inches long, and then I know that I want the cover to be 27 inches. So from the end here, I've made a mark right here that's 27 inches back from the end of the rope. Okay. So now to cut that off, you want to go back here to this end and just start pulling on the core and pulling it through the rope until it gets to that mark there. Okay. So we're just going to keep cut, pulling here. And you can kind of feel as it goes. Right now the end is... Clear back there still. So we'll just keep pulling on our core, milking it along. Almost, it's just right there. So we'll pull just a little more here. Okay, so now I can feel my end is right there. Okay, so then I get my cutting board. Cut the rope off right there, or the cover right there. Okay, and then I've got a milk, you can see right there is the core. I just push that back out like that, milk it back along, okay. And then I get both of my ends together and I move that core, or the cover, I'm sorry, until it's equally distributed, okay. So you've got equal tails here, okay. Then I'm going to tape that right there just so it doesn't unravel. You don't need to tape it real tight, but just loosely tape it to keep it from coming unraveled. All right. Okay, then I'm going to go here. I'm going to tape these two ends so that they don't unravel and so I can stick them into my fid. So th these you want to tape nice and tight, okay? So get them good and snug and taper them down because you're going to be sticking these in your fid. And they need to be tapered towards the tip. There, one. Just do the same thing on the other one. All right, so now we've got those ready to go. Uh, something that's really important here to remember now before you go to the next step is to put, in this case, I like to cover my splices when I'm all done with heat shrink tubing. You want to put that on there now before you forget, okay? So slip it on, just slide it over the cover, get them out of the way, but get them on there before you forget to put them on because if you wait too long, you won't be able to get them on, okay? So just slide them back out of the way. All right. Okay, so now what we've got to do is mark these tails here uh, for our Brummel splices, okay? To do that, you take your fid. This is a 3 8 inch fid, and you mark one full fid up the rope from the end of the tail. Mark both pieces like that, okay? And then from the, those two marks, you want to measure up 3 and a half inches and make a second mark. Okay, so come up three and a half inches from mark A there and make this second mark, okay. Okay, so we're going to call these marks A here and the second mark up the rope is mark B, okay. All right, so now we're ready to do our brummels. Just take one of the tails, go up here to mark B, take your fid, and push it through the center of the rope. You want an equal number of strands on both sides, okay? Take your tail, shove it in, and pull that through like that, okay? 
Pull it until you've got a little loop right here, but don't pull it all the way through. Just pull it like that. Okay, then go up here to your mark A and do the same thing again. You're going to go through the center of the rope. Okay. Equal number of strands on both sides. And then shove your tail into the fid and bring it through. Now in this case, you're going to pull this until the rope actually inverts, right? Like, like that right there, okay? So it makes a little loop, a little hole right there. Then you're going to shove this through that hole. So just spread it out a little bit, take that loop that you created there and shove it through and pull it around. Now as you do this, you'll see as you, as you pull that loop out, you see the rope here where it was inverted will reverse itself so that now it's back to the way it should be. It's back Thing like that. Okay, so there's our first Brummel. Go over here, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, up here at mark B, shove your fid through the center of the rope. Shove your tail through. Like that. Pull it to a little loop like that. Okay, then go up here to mark A. Bring it through, invert the rope to create that hole right there, okay? Then take this and shove it through there. Pull it, okay, now you'll see the rope here where it was inverted will actually reverse itself. And there you go. Okay, so now we have both of our brummels uh, and we're ready to bury the tails. Okay, so to bury the tails you just pull the cover back away from one end or the other, it doesn't really matter which one you do first, okay? Then you're going to pull that so that it's tight, and then right here, about two picks from where the throat of the splice is at, you're going to take your fid and you're going to push it in there into the core and slide it along down through the center of the core. Okay, and it has to go about six or so inches down through the core at least. I usually go more like seven. Just keep pushing that cover out of your way. Okay, and then bring that out through the side. Okay, like that. Okay, then you're going to take your your, uh, into your tail here, just shove it into your fid and pull that through. Okay? Like that. Okay, then you're going to cut off about an inch off the end here. We're just going to cut off our tape there. Okay? And pull it out and unravel it for about two inches. About like that. Okay, and then just cut that off at an angle. Just taper it to a long, gradual point. Nice, smooth taper. Okay, okay now you're going to bury that by just coming back here. And just pull, and you'll see that that tail will go down inside the rope and bury, okay? So that is our first brummel, okay? But now we've got to move the core here back over the top of that, okay? So to do that, we're going to go over onto our cleat. All right, so now we're going to take a carabiner, we're going to stick it in that eye right there, and we're going to clip it over the top of that cleat, and we're going to pull on this end here to maintain tension while we slide the cover down towards the splice. Okay, so just move that like that. Just move it until it slides over um, the throat of the splice here, the crotch of the splice. About right there is about right for now. Okay, um, get these down here out of the way. Okay. So now we're ready to go back over and do our second.
Brummel here. Okay, so we're ready to bury our second Brummel. So we're just going to push that cover back out of the way. We're going to take our FID, pull this nice and snug here so it's shaped like it's going to be when it lays inside the rope. Okay, then come down here about two picks from the throat of the splice there. Go in middle of the rope. Slide it on down. Just keep moving the cover back out of the way here. Okay. Until you bring it out down there like that. Okay. Shove your tail in. Just pull that on through. All right. Cut that tape off of there. About an inch or so. Okay, splay these out again, unravel the rope, and do the taper. About two inches is about the length of the taper you want. All right, then just bury that. Just pull until that tail goes inside the rope and buries, okay? Okay, so there's our second Brummel. Now we just need to move the cover so that it's uniformly distributed on uh, over the core. To do that, we have to go back over to our cleat again. Okay, so we've got this ready to uh, put the cover over the core, okay? Uh, to do that, we're just going to clip it to our cleat here. And the other end, I'm going to put another carabiner so I can maintain tension on this. Okay, then I'm just going to move this cover until it covers the entire length of the uh, of the Brummel splice, okay, or of the, of the pressing. Okay, so just pull this along. Just start moving this and milking it down towards the end there, okay. All right, so just keep milking the cover until you get this end here to slide all the way down here. So you have to kind of hold this, milk some of the tension or some of the slack out of the cover there. And just keep milking it this way and you'll see that that'll come right on over for you. All right. Okay, so now you'll see that I have both of those about the same length from the uh, the eye. So now we just need to move the uh, heat shrink tubing over so that it covers up the end of the cover. Okay, so all I have to do now is just take the tape off here and then slide the heat shrink up. Okay, so just. That, then just slide your heat shrink tubing up so that it covers the uh, end of the, the, the cover here, okay? Do the same thing on the other side. All right. Okay, so now those two pieces are pretty much equal on both sides in terms of their position, okay? And so now we're ready to shrink the heat shrink tubing here and do the whip lock. And I'll do that in a separate video.